home after being at my friend's apartment. He's one of my good friends, so I often visited him. It was about 9 p.m. at night. Usually I went home at 5 or 6 when I visited him, but it was final exam week, so I went home later than usual to prepare for it together. He lives on the 15th floor. I took the freight elevator down because it was quicker than the passenger elevator. The elevator is kind of old, shaky, and not really well maintained. The fan isn't working, the walls are rusty, full of graffiti, and the light flickers, as you would expect from an old building's elevator. At the moment, there were three or four people with me going down to the lobby. The elevator went down normally. Then, suddenly, at the ninth floor, the door opened. I saw one of my other friends. Her name is Billy. She was playing, laughing with some kids who I assumed to be her friends. Then she looked at me and smiled. I stared at her for a moment, but I didn't reply to her because, well, we're not that close. Nothing came to mind to say. So the elevator closed back up and took me to the lobby. But soon, I realized that no one that was on the elevator with me seemed to notice those kids, despite the loud laughter they made. But once again, I didn't care about it, so I went back home and rested. The day after, I saw Villy again. Out of curiosity, I asked her, Hey, why were you playing so late at night? Why didn't you stay at home? She looked confused, as if I was asking her a random question. She then asked me, well, what do you mean? I didn't go anywhere yesterday. I was at my house. I was a bit confused, and I couldn't believe what she just said. She then asked me again, well, what was I wearing yesterday? I answered, you wore a white t-shirt, right? I was hoping that she would say yes, but she said no. I felt my heart dropping. If it wasn't her that I saw last night, then who? <laughs> a few days later, as usual, I was visiting my friend and went home late again. I waved goodbye to him as I was walking the corridor. One thing came to mind. How am I going to get down? Remembering those elevator things, I took the stairs. Well, I guess it wasn't a really good decision, but at least better than that scary elevator. I walked down the dark stairwell. Once in a while, I looked at the open part, and this time, I saw a shadow figure looking out from the balcony across. It seemed normal to me, probably a person looking down, so I kept on walking. Watching my step, I looked back up again, and suddenly, the shadow figure thing disappeared into nowhere in just a blink of an eye. I was so scared thinking about how the hell did that guy disappear that quickly? by jumping down the balcony? My steps went quicker, but to my astonishment, I saw the sign 8th floor, which means I saw that figure when I was on the ninth floor. That same floor that I witnessed the ghost villi. Soon, I called my friend and told him about it. He was surprised and told me that a lot of people also said that the ninth floor is actually haunted. There was 